I've been seeing so many videos, mine included, where we just talk about the negative thing, what a man doesn't like about you, what a man doesn't want to date you, when a man doesn't, doesn't, doesn't. But you know what? Let's talk about some things that are what we would call green flags. So today we are going to talk about the five signs that a man actually likes you. Stay tuned. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, as I mentioned before, we have been talking so much about what he doesn't do and what he doesn't and what is a man, what is it, it, it. And I feel like we just be focusing on the negative and the red flags and, you know, all of those things. But what about when he does like you? What about when things are all systems go? What about when things are moving on a positive track? I want you to be able to identify when things are going well too, not just when things are going bad. So let's get into this list. But before we do, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below on this list on which of these five things that a man does when he likes you. Because if I could have add a million and one things on here, but we're just going to focus on this five. Actually, per usual, <laughs> I'm going to throw in an extra bonus for y'all as well. So make sure you stay to the end to get the number six sign how and why a man likes you. The first sign that you know a man likes you is that he's open and honest about his feelings towards you. I feel like this is a very simple one. This is a very easy one that we don't have to go into too much detail on this one. But if a man is interested in you, he's going to say that. If he's interested in you, he's going to act like it, right? And y'all always know the words that I say, actions and words have to align. He can't just say it without doing it. He can't just do it without saying it, right? So we need to make sure that those two things are actually con ruin. They are on the same page with one another. And to be honest, this type of man is not even going to care what other people think. <laughs> they may be saying, well, I don't know about her, bro. Like, I'm not sure. Or a family member might be like, hold, pump your brakes. You know, don't go too far, too hard on this. But he's like, no, I care for this woman. No, I love her. No, I want to be with her. And he's going to do that at whatever cost that it is. And it even means whatever cost to you too, which essentially means that even if it's not fully reciprocated on your end, he's still going to stand in his truth. That's what a real man does. Regardless of how you respond, regardless of if you like him back or even don't like him on that level, he's going to say, you know what, let me express my feelings to her, put it out there because you never know what can happen. And at that point, that's when you are open and honest enough to say, you know what, I'm not really rocking with you on that level. But nevertheless, he stood in his truth. He was honest. He was vulnerable. And that's actually pretty attractive. And I think the whole point of this one is he's just trying to make sure that another man is not going to come and try to pull up and get you. Right. <laughs> like that's literally what it is. Now, if it don't work out, it doesn't work out. But at least he, you know, shot his shot, so to speak. And he knows that this just wasn't going to work out, but he can stand in his truth to say he did his part and he did it well. The second sign that he likes you is protective behavior. Now, I'm not, well, maybe, but I'm not necessarily talking about him physically fighting someone or, you know, something of that nature. I'm just talking about he's going to naturally want to protect you. He's going to make sure you're safe at all times. And I'm not talking about just physically safe, but emotionally safe as well. I don't know if chivalry is fully dead because I don't think it is. And I hope it ain't because I love a good chivalrous. I love a chivalrous man, a little chivalrous man. <laughs> okay, let me be serious. I love chivalry, right? And so for a man to do things like walk on the outside when you're walking, right? These are things that are old school that I don't even know if men these days are being taught, but I know like walking walking on a street like a woman will walk inside and the man will walk outside just as a form of protection just in case something happens. There's just so many different ways that he can show that he cares and he wants to protect her. And so even with someone trying to either say something disrespectful or argue or talk about the person that they're dating behind their back, he's going to stand up for you. Okay. He's going to be like, no, 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 no. Don't talk about my boo like that. She's not here to defend herself. She did not do that. He's going to, you. he's going to be your biggest advocate, you know, and that is in your presence and outside of your presence. So he's going to have that protective behavior, which is super dope. And that's a really great indicator and a sign that he likes you. 
The third sign that he likes you is that he's going to want to know about your day or want you to be a part of his day. When you are genuinely in love with someone or you just like them and want to move forward in a dating situation with them, you want to bring them into your world, right? You want to let them know what happened with your day. How was it? Did you got to cut somebody out at work? What was the drive home like? You get to experience so many different aspects of your day. And the first thing that you're thinking about is like, oh, let me share this with my boo. Let me call him or let me text him and be like, dang, today was crazy. This, this, and this happened. Or, you know, today was wild, but I was thinking about you. You want to bring them into your world, whether that's good bad, the in-between. And I think that that's a wonderful indicator that he likes you because if he does not, he ain't going to do that. He going to be like, why are you talking to me about your day? I'm not telling you about my day. I'm not being vulnerable and open with you. Nobody freaking cares, essentially. This is a great sign that he's, he's into you. And I think that you should pay a little bit more attention to this because when he does do those things, that is essentially saying that you're a safe space. That's essentially saying that you are home to him where he can tell you you know what went down with the day and you're not going to throw it back in his face or anything like that he feels protected and vulnerable and open around you and so this is a good indicator good indicator number four or the fourth sign that he likes you is that he wants to be close to you he wants to have close proximity to you now this could be subtle touches little kisses he walks by you and brushes your hair he's sitting down and rubbing your leg this can be any this could be holding hands putting his arm around you this can be any little subtle type of physical touch or need where it's just like i want you to be close and even if we're not physically touching, I want you close in proximity, right? And I think that that's super duper dope because again, if somebody don't like you, they don't want you in their presence. They don't want you in their space. They don't want you to be around them like that. It's, it's kind of just like, er, stay over there. Don't come over here with your foolery. So essentially for me, this one is all about body language. What is he telling you without saying words? Is his body language saying, come here, baby, come close. <laughs> if he's saying like, oh, I want you near me proximity wise, come close. Is he saying and leaning in when you're talking to him, giving you eye contact? What is he doing to show that he wants you more and more in his presence? The fifth sign before we move into the bonus that he likes you is that he remembers things. I personally feel and professionally feel that a man who's into you, even if he ain't got the best memory, he's going to start to remember small things about you, small things that you like, places you want to go, things you want to buy, things you like to eat, things you like to drink, your favorite dessert. Like he's going to remember or start to remember some of those small things so he can do those things for you. So he can implement those things for you to make you happy. And when you're happy, he probably happy, right? So this is a reciprocal situation. Y'all know I always talk about reciprocity. You want him to be happy, we want you to be happy too. But he's going to remember those things about you and that's gonna internally make you feel good. It's gonna be like, okay, my boo remembered that, you know, my favorite candy was a Snickers and he was at the store and he got me one. Oh, he remembered that I saw this, you know, outfit on Instagram and I told him about it and he bought it for me. Oh, he remembered that I love going to an Italian restaurant. And so he's taking me there for date night. Like those are some of the cutest little small things that a man does that kind of just shows he is genuinely interested in you. And it doesn't even matter how much money he got. He can be on the poor end <laughs> and still do the small things that shows you that he remembers you. And that means he's thinking about you throughout the day, thinking about you in different situations and scenarios. And that is a good thing. And before I move on, let me throw this in there. This one also means too that he's actively listening to you. <laughs> you know how we always like, men don't listen. They don't follow instructions. They don't pay attention. This is telling you that he actually does because he has to listen to what you're saying in order to buy you the things and to know your preferences and your interests and your likes and dislikes and all of those things. So we have to give him credit that he has been paying attention. Moving on to the last one, to the bonus, the sixth sign that a man likes you. He's sharing personal things about his life with you. So that means things that may not be comfortable, things that will probably make him feel a little bit more vulnerable. That could be about his past, about experiences, about his childhood, about his dreams, goals, where he's trying to go, some of the mistakes that he's made, I mean, it is just inclusive of so many things. If you're seeing that he's opening up to you and sharing more and more about himself and his personal life and his personal history and story with you, then this is an indicator that he's 
he's vibing with you. He's, he's feeling you. I love this one the most because what it does, it truly just creates that deeper connection that we all long for. And it also just speaks to that vulnerability that I've already discussed. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay connected with all of my weekly videos I have coming your way. Bye.